A craftsman is always going to take the two parts and check them and see if they will mate together. This, we're going to talk about, I guess, three terms that we hear a lot. Mechanic, technician, craftsman. So I don't care what you call yourself, okay? You can call yourself mechanic, technician, or people tend to think technicians, you know, um, uh, more professional terms. Mechanic, you know, kind of has that dirty or less than wrap, if you will. But nobody argues craftsmanship, right? Like, nobody argues that. I don't care if it's an artist, a welder, uh, a, fab a fabricator, anything. When you talk about someone being a craftsman, how about a person who works with leather? Oh, you know, yeah. we could think of a whole bunch, right? People will look at that and tend to go, man, that's a craftsman. You know what I mean? What we're going to do here, what we're going to model here today is craftsmanship in assembling mechanical parts. We're going to look at, can we fit these parts together perfectly through craftsmanship? So you want to see how we're going to do that? All right, let's look at our problem piece here. This is as far as I can get that pin to go in. But it goes it goes in really smooth to there and it hit it in something wrong. You have to figure this is still mass produced. Could there be a piece of machining metal or it's sticking up and blocking things? These mass produced parts are so well built that we typically don't have to mess with it. Well, I want you to think about the fact that sometimes you do have this happen. I'm going to go ahead and switch to the other side here. And on this one, I can't even I can't even get it to start. I have to force it and it does not want to go through. People will typically take a big punch and take either a socket or something and try and drive, you know, that pin in place, which we said we never want to do on a motor. Why? What are we going to hurt? The connecting rod, the connecting rod bottom bearing. If I'm supposed to be able to just have this nice slip fit, okay, and but go all the way through, wouldn't it be better to fix the problem? Yep, yep. Let's see if we can't find the problem. Let's try and zoom in here. Right there. Got it. We got a burr in there, don't we? Yep. I'm going to see if just a, a real light piece of uh, emery cloth will do the trick and maybe I could just get that burr out. Another tool, this one we use in machining, it's a deburring tool. As I demonstrate here, just some real light pressure, take small bites and don't create damage. Finish up with some emery cloth to really clean up any small burrs. All right, in summary, it's just like yesterday when we were doing that gasket video about making things where they're not stressed. I want you to think about this. I mean, we're only dealing with two pieces that go together here. You've got the connecting rods, you've got bearings, you've got transmission parks, you've got shift forks. Uh, you know, in four strokes, then we start to add camshafts and caps and valves or whatnot. Everything that has to mate to another part, I believe that your job as a, as a mechanic, technician, whatever you want to call it, use some craftsmanship and you're going to uh, do really quality work. Keep wrenching. But seriously, it's all nuts and bolts. I hope you found this video useful. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, would you please do so? Also hit that notification button so you'll know about all our future videos. As I always say, keep wrenching and make it a great day.